are getting your powers back right now. He doesn't like the fact that he's vulnerable. He loves his dad too much. Where are your powers? I really don't remember. Well, shit. Maybe he left him in Lucifer's safe? <laughs> Question mark. Maybe in the walls, like the sword was? You don't remember where they are. How can you be sure that they're safe? What if something happens to them? What if something happens to you? Does the universe collapse into nothingness, destroying everything and everyone I care about? Your face, Lucifer. The one you used in hell. In person, it really is quite intense. Are you seriously about to critique the way I looked while saving your life? Because if so, pardon my resting devil face. Deep down, that face is how you see yourself. What are you doing here? I told my dad I forgot my social studies book. I lied, dummy. What on earth was that for? I looked inside my heart like Dr. Linda said, and here's what I realized. Your hair is stupid, and your jokes are immature. And what kind of person puts a bar that big inside their house? My hair is majestic, and you know it. <laughs> Grown-ups are supposed to be responsible. Oh, are they? Well, I'll show you responsibility. You're banned from the penthouse for a month. <laughs> Come on, Dad. We are returning this miniature hooligan to her father. So, really, Trixie was mad at Lucifer? Look, you don't have to worry about me causing any more trouble. Really, though, Maze? For a second, Michael had me believing that I could be something else. Something better. But I get it now. I'll never be more than this. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that my father has gone missing. <laughs> God has gone missing? I don't know. I'm sure, sure it'll be fine. He's probably gone to that donut shop that he likes or decided to relive the glory days of creation at the zoo. Yeah, anyway, you go on with the case and uh, I'll pop off, try and find him and give him a stern talking to. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, mm. Oh. I'm sorry. I, oh, I just, well, that was a I bit awkward. No, we stood after. Oh, no, I shouldn't have. I wasn't thinking. I, oh, well, this is getting more uncomfortable. Oh, What's going good, on? Good. She takes the drug, doesn't Dr. she? Porter. I'm about yeah. to perform an extremely delicate surgery, Detective. He threatened to expose you, didn't he? So you killed him with an overdose of YSD, the exact drug that you use to steady the tremor in your hands. No, Albert Walcott was a deranged, deluded addict. You're not okay, Doctor. And pretending that you are is only hurting the ones that depend on you. And that was the parallel right there. She's very convincing, Chloe, isn't she? So, why are you running away? I've been having trouble lately. I haven't been feeling like myself. Getting confused, losing things. And now my children are mad at me. Can't say I blame them. Honestly, I think I may have really messed up. I realized I'm mad at Lucifer. Why are you mad at him? I thought we were friends, but then he just ran off to Florida for months and he didn't even say goodbye. He always just does whatever he wants. I kind of forget that that's how it must have felt for the people that he left behind. You know I'm Lucifer's dad, right? Well, some of the ways he acts, I think they may be my fault. <laughs> She always does this, doesn't she? She's about to do like one of the worst things ever. And just as she gets talked around. Thank you for holding on to this for me, Charlie. I knew it would be safe with family. <laughs> he left his powers in a rattle, a baby toy. Charlie just chilling, munching on it. I didn't want Trixie to see that kind of violence. You were following me for quite a while before Trixie showed up. Yes, it came. You chose not to kill me. Fine. You created me to be a killer, and I can't even do that right. Perfect the way I am, my demon ass. The funny thing about miracles is they happen every day. The angel has a child with a human. The devil can fall in love. We can all learn. We can all grow. But a demon can't grow a soul. Can't she? She's gonna grow a soul? Oh, oh done. 
I slept with your wife. And I can't change that. Even if I wanted to. Which I don't. So smite me. Turn me into a pillar of salt. Whatever you do. It's not my business who my ex-wife spent her time with, Daniel. She found someone to give her the love she deserved. Thank you. <laughs> Scared of shaking his hand. He's forever getting toyed with, isn't he? It's okay, Mom. I learned today that grown-ups make mistakes too. And I forgive you. You know, everybody does make mistakes. But it's important that we own up to our mistakes when we make them. I'm sorry for what I did at school. I'm glad to hear you say that. You know, I'm, I'm sorry too for my mistakes. And um, I, I really should have realized that you're not a little kid anymore. You're beautiful, smart. I can tell you're sad, Mom. I know you can. Even when I'm not willing to admit it to myself, I know, honey. Denial happens to the best of us. The truth is, is um, things between Lucifer and me, they are a little up in the air right now. And uh, I'm not sure if we will uh, end up as partners or friends or something more. But uh, if he and I are going to try and figure this out, I have to tell him my real feelings. But here's the thing, Trix. Ellie will always love you, no matter what. Promise? Promise. I wasn't getting emotional then at all. I don't know what you're on about. The truth is, I've been slipping for quite a while. For longer than I'd like to admit. I guess you get your denial from your father. What denial? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> now let's just keep this between the three of us for now, shall we? Father, what are you saying? I think it's time. Time for me to retire. Uh, what? <laughs> From being Dad, Dad. God? <laughs> So, God just wants to retire from his duty of being the Almighty and what, just leave it up to someone else to take control? Is he hoping that Lucifer or Menadiel will step into that role? I don't understand how he thinks that he could just step down from that. I mean, to be fair, he can do whatever the hell he wants, but if he does do that, then it's gonna have a detrimental effect on everything. Literally everything, the entire universe interesting okay so my thoughts on this episode overall was it was all right it was it was decent it wasn't it wasn't bad but it's definitely not one of my favorites i do like exploring this whole like god wanting to be human and fit in with lucifer and amanda deal and everyone else's lives like his his son and daughter's lives type of thing i do have a question though while he's here what the hell's going on everywhere else is he just cracking on as normal like is his daughters or sons elsewhere thinking i ain't having this i'm gonna swoop down as well we've got the angel of death we've not seen her again since so i'm assuming she'll be back into it maybe his plan is is scoping out his uh, offspring to see who could potentially be the next ruler of all and if so maybe he will gift that sibling with his almighty powers i don't know i do really like god though i like his charm i like his innocence in a way like his little cute smile when he smiles but at the same time like he can switch and suddenly you can just see the power that he holds uh, so like I get it. I, I just think that they've balanced it quite well is my point there I like as well when other people are introduced to the celestial world One when they don't know and one when they do know so like Ella for instance when he was like your support has not got to noticed I am very grateful blah, blah 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 and her being like huh and us knowing exactly that she's a religious gal and this is god himself so those moments i love and then you've also got like the dan moments where you know he slept with his wife and bam dan is pink dust <laughs> everywhere 
<laughs> it was just madness. And then he's obviously brought it back together. So thank you for that, God. I appreciate it. Dan's still got this like overwhelming worry and fear that he's gonna go to hell and be tortured for all of eternity because he slept with God's wife and he's done a few things that he probably shouldn't have done. Uh, the Trixie stuff in this was was okay. I really like Trixie, but I don't know, there was something about this one that just wasn't gelling. I don't, I don't know what it was. It felt a little like forced, like the parallel thing felt a little forced. Uh, but I do, like I said, I do love Trixie. I love when Chloe and Trixie have those motherly and daughter moments. When you look at the dialogue and the words and Chloe's emotions, when she's thinking about Trixie knowing her better than other people know her and noticing when she's sad and her trying to stay strong and hide that sadness, but you can't hide it from your daughter. Like that sort of thing. Like I do love those, those moments. I also liked the maze revelation when God was like, you can grow yourself a soul it looked as though it was the words that she just really needed to give her that encouragement so hopefully that goes to plan the awkward kiss thing between Dekastar what was that they need to discuss with each other about how they feel where their heads are at because I don't want any more moments like that we don't need those we do not need those I do get annoyed sometimes when Chloe's trying to talk to Lucifer and he's just head somewhere else. I can't see that changing anytime soon. It is just pretty much Lucifer in it. And he was wrapped up in his own troubles when it comes to his dad. And one last thing before I wrap up, I really liked when God, he was giving God like loads of grief from the get go. I mean, he has from the start. And then the second someone else shows some sort of aggression towards his dad, he just flips and does not allow it whatsoever. And I think those were the true emotions. And then you also had God saying, right, so your devil face, wow, somewhere else, and you created that. You must, that must be how you see yourself. Oh twist that knife in my heart so so sad but again these are the moments that i enjoy i want some more movement i think with like plot and more excitement when it comes to the plans i guess for the season the main arc because i'm assuming the arc of this season is god and his relationship to his sons and earth maybe but i'm, I'm assuming god is like the main focus this season um, but I, I want something more now, I think, so we'll see. I might regret saying that because I'm going to end up in floods of tears, probably, but we'll see, you know. I'm excited to find out if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I want to thank you all for watching these videos. It really does mean a lot, and I really hope to see you for the next one as well. Please remember I have extended and exclusive videos over on Patreon, and the link will be in the description below of this video, so please check that out. All my details and everything else, I always leave in the description, so if you ever want to know anything, head on over there, and uh, I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Without further ado, I shall see you for the next video. Bye, guys. Okay.